Now let's work on the pants for our character. And we're going to use the same object that we did before, this object that has sort of everything in it. Let's make another copy just so we're always keeping that base there if we need it. So for this one, we only need we only need the polygons below the waist. So let's go ahead and get rid of any of these polygons that don't fit the bill. And we'll come in across here. So just those. Okay, now I also want to have the boot be separate. So I'm going to make another copy. And let's call this one pants, this one boot. So with the boot selected, let's select all these polygons right down to there. And then we'll turn the pants back on, select that, and we'll delete all the other polygons. So now we have pants and boot. All right, for the pants, let's add symmetry to that. Drop those in. And let's make that editable. Now, a little detail that I want to add up here is sort of uh, anytime we have these, you know, even in something that's really cartoony, when you have these pieces that are touching or intersecting, we want to pay particular attention uh, to those. And so... Uh, let's go to edges. We'll select a loop. Select this boundary loop and let's do an extrude and pull it in. So something like that. Let me pull the edge angle down so it's kind of coming more straight in. Now we can use our knife and let's start to add a little bit of detail right here. Okay, and then we can select uh, let's go to live selection, polygons, let's actually select the loop. And I'll select those and we'll do an extrude. We'll just pull it out just a little bit. Now let's drop it into a subdivision surface. We can kind of see that gives us a little bit more detail there. Now for the, for the shirt, we want to actually really sell that this is kind of tucked in and that there's actually the pieces there and you can see we'll fix that up in a second but um, so let me grab all these points for the shirt just the ones on the bottom okay and let's pull it down so it's sort of inside the pants okay and as an extra level here let's use our knife let's add a new line right in there Okay, and let's grab that line. And let me go to live selection. Let's grab it and let's pull it out a little bit. So there's a little bit kind of, of a bulge there. Now you can see it's sort of overlapping and so we can fix that by just taking everything under there and then scaling it all down just a little bit, but we want that bulge to be there. So let's take all that and we'll just scale it down a little bit. I just think it looks a little bit nicer to have that kind of look there. Now, as far as this goes, you can tell that some points are kind of off. Okay, and so what we can do is just select those We'll do weld and weld them together. So that just means that those points weren't exactly on the right plane. Okay, and I would just do the same thing with the boot. Okay, add the little rim up at the top. Um, so we can go ahead and do that. Just use our knife. Again, think about what's going to be tucked into what. So I think I want to tuck the pants into the boot. So let's select our loop and extrude. Now let's select a loop of polygons. 
pull it out a little bit. And if we want to tighten it up, knife will do that. Now let's grab subdivision surface. And that gives you the, the top of the boot there. And then you just want to make sure that the leg is tucked in. So we've got the pants. Let's grab both sides and just pull it straight down. Okay, and remember we can go in and optimize our points. Not only on that, but also on the boot. And then symmetry will allow you to create the other boot really quickly. You can do symmetry inside of the subdivision surface or the other way around. So now we've got our boots, we've got our pants, we've got our shirt tucked into the, the pants there. So the next thing that we want to do is add some of these smaller little details here, like a belt buckle, an insignia, some of these different things. And so let's do that next.